welcome back to my channel and happy Easter. It is the day before Easter, but my family is celebrating Easter today. So we're having about 15 family members over for Easter. And yesterday I showed you day one of my prep for this get together. So in yesterday's video, I made some mini egg fudge. I did a candy charcuterie board. I showed you my Easter baskets and I decorated the house. So if you haven't seen that, you might want to check out that video. Today, we're going to focus more on kind of the main dishes that we're working on. So we're having some roast beef, we're having some ham, mashed potatoes, some beans, some glazed carrots, as well as some broccoli and cheese and some dinner rolls. That's kind of our, our main meal. We're also going to set up a charcuterie board, some appetizers, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, and I even have a grocery haul for you. I'm also going to show you how I made some cinnamon apples as kind of a lighter dessert, another gluten-free option. And uh, yeah, so why don't I just take you along with me and you can see what it is we've been doing all day to prep for Easter. Okay, so I am going to make my baked apple slices now. And then what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to cook them in the oven and I'm going to put Cool Whip on top for dessert. So just some light Cool Whip. I went to cut my fudge this morning. I don't know if you saw yesterday I made some mini egg fudge and it wasn't setting properly. So I've put it into my deep freezer. I'm a little concerned. I think I maybe overdid it on the marshmallows. So if that doesn't work out, which it tastes really good. So I'm hoping the deep freezer will help it to set a little bit. I make fudge at Christmas. I've never had this issue, so I don't know what I did wrong this time. I'm thinking it's the marshmallows. But if that doesn't work, I do have the candy charcuterie board, and I will have these baked apples for myself and my sister-in-law, and then my aunt is bringing the cake for everybody else who's going to part partake in that, who doesn't try to stick to gluten-free. So let's get started with these apples. All you need is, I mean, you can use as many apples as you want, but I'm going to use seven apples. I'm going to peel them and then you also need some honey, you need some cornstarch and you need some cinnamon. I just use the cinnamon toast crunch cinna dust. I find that works really, really well and it adds a, just a little bit of extra sweetness to it as well. And then I'm going to also put some water in. You need some water, put it in a casserole dish that you've sprayed with like a cooking spray and then put it in the oven. So let's get ready and prep these apples. Okay, so my apples are all cut up. I have, I don't know, approximately about a quarter cup of water. I'm just gonna put that in there and that's gonna keep the apples from drying out when they're in the oven. And then I usually just eyeball this, like I don't really follow a recipe, but I'm gonna drizzle some honey on the top. I'm gonna put probably a round a tablespoon of the cornstarch on it forgot to grab my tablespoon it's okay I'm just gonna use this and I'm just gonna shake it around and I will mix that up in a second and then I just take my cinna dust okay sprinkle that over I'm gonna mix this all up and the cornstarch is gonna help it to thicken up so that it's gonna taste more like an apple pie filling it's kind of like a healthier apple pie. I'm sure you could use this and put like, I don't know, oats or something on the top, some kind of like a crust. I'm not going to do that just because I want to keep it a little bit lower calorie. I'm just going to put the light Cool Whip. So that's it. That's all you do for the baked apples. I make these all of the time and I'm just going to put them in the oven at 375 for approximately 25 minutes. Okay, so this is what I ended up getting from Voila. So this is a combination of Sobeys and Farm Boy. And this came to about $250, which is insane. 
it doesn't feel like it should be $250 considering I didn't really buy meat other than like some frozen stuff. But that's, that's what it was. Okay, so let's start over here. I did get the Dole Caesar salad kit. I'm just going to probably this week have some pizzas one night and serve this on the side. And so this was $4.59 for that. And then I also grabbed these chips. So this was the flavors from China, cucumber. I'm going to do something with these chips a little later on in the week that you will see. Um, so I decided to grab these. I don't think I'm really going to like these, but we're going to give them a try and see. And these were $3.99 for those. And then I also grabbed just the compliments, regular ripple chips, and those were $2.50 for that bag. Okay, so I got three boxes of the Lean Angus Beef Meatballs. These often go on sale on Voila, so you can get buy two, get one free. That's what they were. So they're $12.49, but then you got one box for free. So I thought that was pretty decent. I use those for, you know, spaghetti and meatballs or even like Swedish meatballs, barbecue meatballs. So I figured I would pick some of those up and just keep them in the freezer. I did get some all-purpose flour. That was the Compliments brand. That was $5.49 for that. And then I also grabbed some of these compliments battered seasoned chicken balls and they come with the sweet and sour sauce. So sometimes I'll just make these for my husband and then I'll put like some fried rice or some egg rolls with it or whatever. And it just kind of, he loves Chinese food. So it, it's sort of just, I don't know, it satisfies his craving. That's the word I'm looking for. And these were $8.99 for those chicken balls. And then I grabbed some of the Green Giant Veggie Spirals. My plan was to do this with maybe some pesto sauce, but then I forgot to order the pesto sauce. So that really wasn't very helpful. But these were $6.49, which seems like a lot, but that's what they were. And um, I just wanna try to avoid eating too many carbs. I'm not off of carbs completely, but this just kind of keeps the carb count down and I don't mind them in like as a pasta. I don't mind them. Uh, I also got some of these organic celery hearts. They don't look too great to me. I'm not too happy with the way that they look. So I'm gonna have to use these up really, really quickly. And I do find that if I wash them, cut them and then wrap them in foil, they actually last longer. So I don't know what it is, but it's something about the foil. They seem to, to last longer. And this was $2.99 for that. I also grabbed some of the spinach. I didn't order the organic. I ordered the regular one. It was $4.99. And they subbed this because they were out of the regular. I also grabbed some of these mini cucumbers. I've been enjoying these, just cutting them up in my salads or just cutting them up and putting them in my lunch for a snack. And these were $4.49 for those. I also grabbed some strawberries. These do not look as good as the strawberries that I got at Costco. So that's disappointing. But I mean, strawberries are hit or miss. Sometimes they're good, sometimes not so great. But these were on sale for $4.99, down from $6.49. So I thought that was a pretty decent price. I got a bunch of bananas. This was $2.69. I can get bananas, same amount of bananas at Walmart for $1.69. So that was not a great price, but I was ordering from Voila, so I just ended up getting them anyway. I did grab some of the Too Good Yogurt by Danone. I really like this. There's only two grams of sugar in it, and there are it's eight grams of protein. So that's what you want in a yogurt. You want lower sugar, you want higher protein. I like the consistency of it. It's not too sweet. So I plan on putting that in my overnight oats. I've been eating a lot of that for breakfast. This was actually $4.49 for this four pack of yogurt. So it's more expensive, the Too Good, but I do, I do like it and it doesn't have artificial sweeteners in it, which is great. And I think that is why it costs a little bit more, but I, I'm willing to pay that. Every now and then it will go on sale, but I'm willing to pay that because I do like that particular brand of yogurt. I did grab some of these gluten-free English muffins. You can see they don't look like a typical English muffin, 
but when they're toasted up, they're actually pretty good. I, I mean, I mean, you usually toast up an English muffin anyway. So these are pretty good toasted up. They're not cheap. They are $7.49, but all gluten-free stuff is more. It always costs more, but these are, are better for me, and so I buy them. This shredded chicken, the maple leaf shredded chicken, I've been buying this a lot just to put in like homemade soups or pastas or stir fries or whatever I want for the week. This was $9.99. It's definitely cheaper if you get it at Costco because you get the two pack of them for $16.99. I got that last week at Costco, but I wasn't going to Costco this week, so I just decided to pay the $9.99 for this. But definitely if you're going to get something like that, get it at Costco. I grabbed some of the compliments cream of chicken soup. I was all out of cream of chicken soup and I use this sometimes for like my cheesy chicken and rice casserole or just different things that you're making, a tuna casserole, whatever. You need cream of chicken. So these were $1.99 for these. I cannot believe how much the cost of soup has gone up. I remember when you could get like a can of the store brand soup for 69 cents and you're just not seeing that anymore. So anyway, these were $1.99 each. This was all, also, pardon me, $1.99 for the compliments dark red kidney beans. I'm gonna make a turkey chili this week. So I needed some of that. And I grabbed this. This was the Knorr Chicken Bouillon Zero Salt. So I like to put chicken bouillon in my soups a lot. or And I thought, I'm adding a ton of extra sodium and salt every time I do that. So I, I thought I'd try this. I want the flavor, but I don't want all of the sodium, all of the salt. So I'm going to give that a try. And I'm trying to find the price for you because I wrote it down. What was it? It was $6.99 for that. So I'll give that a try and see how it is. I also got some of this Classico Rosé sauce for pasta. And this was $5.79, which is ridiculous to me for a pasta sauce. This I could have gotten cheaper at Walmart, but again, I was ordering from here and I didn't want to do two orders, so I just grabbed it. I got some of the Kraft Singles. These were $5.99 for four fake cheese. That's ridiculous. Again, I could probably get this for $3.50 at Walmart. I won't buy this again from Sobeys. Not a great price at Sobeys, unless it's on sale. Burn Brave Farms, the egg bakes. These are the egg white ones. It's with the spinach, ricotta, and caramelized onion. I've been enjoying these. I put them inside one of those gluten-free English muffins that I showed you, and it's kind of a quick breakfast. These are $4.99 for these, and it only comes with two of the quiches. They're a good size. It's a bit pricey. I know I could make it myself, but for convenience, I grabbed some of those. And I finally got this. The white chocolate mocha zero sugar. I've been dying to try this because we don't have a ton of the zero sugar flavors in Canada. And uh, this was a new one, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Finally found it. This was $6.49, which is ridiculous, but I really wanted to try it. So I picked that up. I did get some of the Burn Bray Farms eggs to go. I like getting these sometimes. I know I could boil my own eggs, but this is just fast for during the week and I can cut these up and put them in my salads for a little extra protein or I can make an egg salad sandwich out of them, whatever I want. So I ended up grabbing these. They were $4.99 for this package. And then I grabbed some of the Betty Crocker scalloped potatoes. These are just the instant scalloped potatoes. Um, I mean, I don't love them, but they're fine for like a quick you know, weeknight dinner, just if you need a quick side. And they were on two for five. So that's why I decided to grab those. I did get some of the Best Buy chocolate fudge cookies. These were, what were these? These were $5.29. I think you do better again at Walmart with the duplex ones. They're a lot cheaper. But this also got you uh, the 80 scene points. So scene points, if you don't know, are for Cineplex Cinemas. So you collect the scene points and you get free movies. And it, it's actually worth it because it doesn't take long to get a free movie ticket if you're collecting the scene points. So that's why I ended up getting those. My, my family likes these and then I also got the scene points from them. 
I also grabbed some of these. These are from Farm Boy. I love uh, the Farm Boy brand, but I don't have a Farm Boy near me. It's like 45 minutes away. And if you don't know what a Farm Boy is, it's kind of like the Canadian version of a Trader Joe's, kind of. Like, it's similar to that. And I shouldn't even say Canadian because I think it's only in Ontario right now. But it is owned by Sobeys. I do like the Farm Boy stuff. I think you can get a lot of kind of, I don't know, original sort of products. Products you can't get in other stores. If you're on any kind of a specialized diet, like gluten-free or vegan or keto, they do have a lot of stuff uh, for you for that di that kind of a diet. And then they also have a lot of organic stuff. And I find that a lot of their stuff has more natural ingredients. So the ingredient list is not as long, which is great. So it's healthier on the whole. You can get junky things there too. Like, don't get me wrong. Um, but I do find that overall, they do have healthier stuff. And I, and I like it. But I don't get there very often. So I did grab some of these oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. These are individually wrapped, which is great. They are vegan. They have, you know, more natural ingredients in them, which I like. And these were $4.99 for these. So this will be easy to just throw into my son's lunch. And then they also, I got these. I always get these when I go to Farm Boy or when I order from Voila. These are the Asiago cheese bagels. These are the best. These are the best bagels. My husband loves them. So I grab these whenever I can. And these were $4.99 for these, which is expensive for bagels. But honestly, they're worth it because they're so, so, so good. I grabbed some of these chocolate chip brioche pull apart rolls. I thought these would be good for Easter morning just to toast up and put a little bit of butter on them and then maybe serve them with some fruit. I usually do hot cross buns for Easter. I didn't get them this year, but I saw these and I thought they looked pretty good to me. These were, let me find it. Hello, where, where are you buns? These were $5.99, so not cheap but they do look good. And Farm Boy, generally, I like their bakery. They have some pretty good stuff in their bakery. I grabbed some of this Texas toast. It was $2.99 per loaf, which, yes, I can get bread cheaper at Walmart, like sandwich bread, but I find this is a really decent size loaf. Like, if you get Texas toast in different brands, it's still the same size loaf as the non-Texas toast, so you're really not getting that much bread. So this is perfect because I think it's a decent size and it is quite yummy. It's better than like a Dempster's or whatever. So I grab that when I can. I did grab the Farm Boy chicken strips. Again, they're just lightly breaded and the ingredients are better on them. And these were $13.49 for those. I did get some of the Farm Boy Himalayan pink salt popcorn. I would say it's comparable to like a Skinny Pop popcorn or the Boom Chicka Pop, but it's really good. It's popped in coconut oil. It's only 35 calories per cup. It's very, very, very tasty. So definitely worth grabbing if you are at Farm Boy. And it is, let me see, $2.59. No, I lied. Oh, I've really lied. $5.99 for that bag of popcorn, but it's a pretty big bag. I also grabbed some Farm Boy homestyle garlic bread. This would just be good, you know, when I if I make a pasta one night, I can serve this or even pizza alongside that and you just keep it in the freezer. And the garlic bread was $2.99. And then the last thing I grabbed was the Farm Boy organic tomato and red pepper soup. This was so good, like with a grilled cheese. I had one of these and I loved it. And it is gluten-free because not all soap uh, soaps, not all soups are gluten-free. And it is also vegan. So if you want that in your soup and you like a good tomato and red pepper soup, farm boy soups are definitely really, really good. And this was $3.99. The only other thing I grabbed was some Coke Zero, which was $6.50 on sale. And I got two cases of that. And then I also got two cases of the compliments water. That was $3.29. So that's it. That's everything that I got. It's not really Easter stuff, but it's just stuff for the week. So stuff to keep us going for the week. And I'll probably have to supplement in with more like produce at some point during the week. 
And again, that was about $250. Okay, so this is how the fudge ended up turning out. I mentioned that I was having some issues with it. So what I did was I ended up putting it back into the pot, remelting it. I put some powdered sugar and a little bit more chocolate. I think, sorry, I have a piece of it in my mouth and I'm trying to talk at the same time. Let me swallow it. Okay, so I think the problem was the chocolate to marshmallow ratio was not good. So it was too like ooey gooey, but by putting more chocolate in and the powdered sugar, it finally set and it is delicious. So yeah, I definitely recommend it, but just watch the amount of marshmallows you put in and maybe try some powdered sugar. Okay, so we're still prepping the food. My mom has been hard at work. We've got mashed potatoes done, so she can just pop those back in the oven to warm them up. We've got some broccoli and some cheese and cauliflower there. We've got some glazed carrots, so this is just like brown sugar and butter and a little bit of parsley on the top. These have not been cooked yet, so she can throw those in the oven. She's also got some green beans on the stove and we've got the gravy kind of ready to go. Okay, mom, so here's the roast beef that you've got prepped for the oven. What did you put on it? Oh, well, I usually put the um, uh, ancient old style mustard. Ancient old style mustard. Uh, what else? Kind of the grainy mustard. Anything and else? And then I put Montreal steak spice. And some Montreal steak spice. And that is it. And that's about it. And then we're just going to let the juices come out. Correct. And then you'll douse it in the juices. Correct? Correct. Correct. And how long are we cooking it for? Um, well, right now I'm I think right now I'm putting it in the oven for at 450 for mm -hmm. 15 minutes. 450 for 15 minutes. Yes, and then I'm going to reduce it. And then to, you're going to reduce it to uh, 275. 275 for however long it takes. And okay. the amount of beef I have, I'm guessing mm. probably an hour and a half to two hours. Okay, hour and a half to two hours. All right. Okay, so we have the appetizer set up. We just went pretty simple because it's a big meal. So we just have some crackers, a little bit of a cheese plate with some celery and some grapes and some boars and cheese. This is the cranberry and black pepper one. We've got some shrimp with some cocktail sauce. These are just some little hors d'oeuvre plates that we put out. We've got the jelly beans. We also have some of these Sweet Georgia Browns from Purdy's. They are delicious. We have the chocolate and candy charcuterie board that I made yesterday. We just have some chips and dip, which we've been snacking on, so we have to like refill the chips and dip. And then we're also going to have some brie, but it's going in the oven right now, and that's gonna have some maple syrup on it. So we decided to set up like a little drink table just so it's easy for people to come and grab their own drinks. So we're gonna put like pop and water and beer, that kind of stuff in a cooler beneath the table. And then I just like have some wine glasses and all with some markers on it so they know who, what wine glasses. There's a couple of beer glasses because most guys just drink out of the can but or a bottle. Um, but we do have that there. And then some red and some white wine with the wine opener. And then people can just get, you know, as much as they want when they want it. Okay, so it's the next morning. I didn't get to film anything else. I wish I could have showed you the finished meal, but there was just too many people here. It was too busy, but everything was delicious. Everyone had a great time. And my nephew loved his little Easter egg hunt. So all in all, it was a success. My house is still a little bit of a mess. I have to clean it up. Normally I would get right on that at the end of a party, like evening, because I like want to wake up to a clean house, but my knee was done by the end. It was way too sore. Uh, so I just had to call it a night. So we're gonna have our Easter breakfast. My son's gonna get his Easter basket and, uh, and that's it. It's gonna be a really restful Easter Sunday. Okay, we're starting off our morning with this Java Works milk chocolate cream egg coffee. I tried it yesterday, it's so good. 
This company actually reminds me of uh, Joffrey's Coffee. It is a Canadian com company, um, but I can link the website down below. They have lots of different flavored coffees and I highly recommend. So this is our breakfast, nice and simple. Just the chocolate chip brioche buns. I put out some peanut butter, some chocolate hazelnut spread, some jam, and then some strawberries with some light Cool Whip. We had a big meal last night, so we're just keeping it simple. So we ended up spending the rest of our Easter just relaxing, having a nice time with family. It was just really, really low key, and I really enjoyed it. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and just seeing kind of what we did to get ready for our Easter dinner with our family. I hope that you guys were able to have a restful, relaxing, but fun Easter with your families and friends as well. And with that, if you did enjoy this video, please click like and subscribe as that really helps out my channel. And I will see you on a new day. Music